David, uh, I've been uh, going to sleep early uh, for the last week or so. The Holy Spirit told me to stay up today and um, he just had me release a 13 minute prophetic word uh, to um, Todd Bentley. And uh, I'm going to send it to him. Hopefully he'll watch it. And um, then the Holy Spirit impressed upon me uh, to do a prophetic word for you. So this will just be a prophetic word for David. Um, and um, it'll be on my playlist, but uh, I won't be mentioning your last name. So people uh, won't necessarily know who you are. You just... Uh, be this person, David, of course, you've received the prophecy and you'll know who you are because I'll send it to you on a Facebook message. So the first thing I saw was a crucible. And, uh, well, I don't know if it's a crucible. It's, it was one of those things that you have like a pestle, mortar, mortar and pestle. And uh, it's a thing that you crush spices in but uh, as the crushing was happening, there was fire and there was, there was a, a fiery crushing. And um, I, I sense that um, the Lord is going to do, uh, it's not a nice word to receive, but I definitely see the image. Um, there seems to be... Um, you're going to be like a crushing, but the fire is going to be birthed out of that. And the herbs and the spices and all the influences you have are going to come out of this hurtful thing. And, uh, and uh, so I don't know what possibly that is, but um, uh, the Lord wants to, uh, it to be a quick work. And, uh, and uh, so, um, because he, he wants the, the, the fire is going to illuminate all the giftings and, uh, and it's going to be the revival fire. And, uh, but first there's going to be things put to death, like a, a crushing of certain things. And, um, and uh, maybe that's your agenda, that's your purposes, that's your dreams. Uh, I don't know what it stands for for you, but I'd assume the Lord's even been talking about this to you and warning you. Uh, and uh, you're, you're a fairly private sort of guy. You play your cards close to your chest, but um, I, I saw that, you know, and... Um, it's a beautiful thing because um, uh, I, I see like a, 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 a hatchling coming out of an egg and suddenly it's got wings and it's flying off. And I see like this egg open up in the crucible with the spices and the fire. And it's like a falcon going into a, like, uh, what, what's, a, uh, what's a, the bird? It's not a falcon. Uh, the one on the American uh, dollar bill, uh, the Phoenix, rising with with um, with fire in its wings. It's like taking off, and its wings are on fire. And um, that's the bird uh, that I saw uh, that uh, prophecy that I showed you on my wall about this great bird. This great uh, fiery bird is going to rise over Australia, and I sense that. Uh, you're one of those birds, and um, I sense that um, that uh, uh, I, I see like uh, stars rushing in. I, I see like uh, like it's like stars have left the galaxies and are moving in, and uh, so I see an eventual. Um, outpouring and I, I see like generals coming to Australia and um, and uh, being redirected and sent off as birds uh, uh, with this uh, phoenix um, I don't know I, I don't know anything about the phoenix but uh, 
it rises out of the ashes. And uh, it's interesting that we had the mortar and pestle and the fire and the crushing, because that's where the phoenix comes out of the crushing. And, and uh, I sense that um, the Lord wants to um, sharpen your giftings, but, um, but he, he really wants to work on your compassion and, and your love and your mercy. And, uh, and um, you know, sadly, I believe half of the Christian church die and go to hell. And um, I don't really see the point in evangelizing people if they're not discipled properly. And uh, I, part of the reason I don't lead people in the sinner's prayer is I don't have a church to direct them to. And um, so uh, there's got to be some planning in if you're going to move somewhere to be able to provide support for the people that are getting saved. But um, I sense that... Um, I, I was almost going to give up then, but uh, this is just between you and me. Um, I sense that... Uh, I don't know, it's like I, I see an image of um, of like a, a small boy um, at the feet of this giant and he's pulling on the giant's legs, trying to get the giant's attention. And the giant kneels, kneels down, picks him up and puts him on his shoulders. And it's like a f thing a father would do. And um, the giant is the angel of, uh, over Australia and you're the boy. And uh, he's going to put you on his shoulders and he's going to say, okay, revival, here we go. So come up here and see the view from here. And um, so don't despise uh, the beginning of this word and don't freak out too much and you know, I hope that uh, nothing uh, bad would happen, but I, I think it, it's something you care about, something you're invested in may uh, be stripped away from you. Uh, and I believe uh, it may be hurtful. It may be a relationship or something uh, that causes crushing. But uh, but uh, there's nothing to fear because the, the spice is going to be mixed up and the phoenix is going to rise with fire in its wings. And um, I, I've been a long uh, person who said for a long time, for you to spread the fires of revival, you've got to go through your own personal fire. And, uh, and uh, uh, as you enter into the pestle and mortar and as it becomes alive, uh, you'll fly out of that and... Uh, you'll uh, be the little boy and you'll climb up on the wings of that angel and uh, you'll be released as this phoenix uh, to spread all over Australia. And uh, I sort of, um, sort of really happy uh, that, um, that I know you and I'm really happy. I, I honestly, um, I've got uh, huge prophetic words over my life and I pretty much, uh, almost given up on them and uh, and I know that only God can open doors for me and uh, had a saint from heaven say the doors are going to be open for me from someone who reads one of my books um, so um, I was sort of just happy to be your friend and help uh, I certainly would like to be involved in training and equipping people um, and uh, that's where my passion is um, and, uh, and uh, so um, I hope this is encouraging. I'll just press in for more. Um, this uh, this um, uh, recording is 17 minutes. So it's got eight minutes to go. So, uh, so uh, we might have been going nine minutes. So um, I sense that... Um, Your power is going to come from intimacy and um, 
I see um, a partner coming. Like uh, I don't, uh, I don't really believe uh, in partner words. Uh, I've had, you know, two people I trusted prophesy partner over me, and it didn't come true. So I, I sort of uh, wouldn't, um, I wouldn't prophesy that because I, I don't really like it. But I see. Um, as you grow a partner coming and uh, and I believe if things took off in Australia uh, I'd meet my partner I think um, uh, my partner's just going to be in the audience one day and uh, and you even hinted at at one time when you said I, I can see you like running a prophetic school and um, she just being one of the students just mesmerized at what you're saying and uh, I think uh, you weren't even trying to prophesy then. I think you just saw it. And uh, I think that's how I'll see her. And um, I really wish I, I could find a female and just give it to you. But uh, but I have uh, said to you uh, uh, multiple times that she needs to be a woman who's got revival on her heart and someone who will uh, travel the nations and be a, a good wife uh, to you, not just an average housewife, but someone who uh, understands what your whole heart is into. And um, you're only going to meet uh, a wife like that who's a fire starter in a fire and, and, and when fires are spreading. Um, so uh, I love you to bits and I wish I could just find one and give it to you. Um, but I do see a partner as, as you grow and you move to sing in the future. I, um, I can see a partner coming alongside uh, to support you. Um, and uh, I also see, um, I see these, uh, I was listening to Todd Bentley and uh, he's talking about these 15 uh, things that are kicking people's heads and ripping gorters off people's faces and uh, crash tackling <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he just says it's when the gift of faith says and Jesus says to do Holy Spirit says to do this crazy thing and he just does this crazy thing and uh, you've mentioned that you've uh, told someone to jump on their legs when they had broken legs or whatever <laughs> and uh, you've done a couple already and that's just the gift of faith operating so uh, I'm glad I'm going through Todd Bentley because um I'm getting to understand you more and understand your wheelhouse and what you'll be doing and understanding what you're doing. I think that's um, I think that's a really good thing. So um, I, I just love you, man. I just love you. I, d I just want to be with you, uh, and and we can build this thing together, standing strong forever. Nothing's going to stop us now. I just want to be with you, man, and. Um, Honestly, uh, if something broke out in Australia, let the world come to us. Uh, let, let's do a two-year monitorium that we're not going to leave Australia until Australia's bushfired out, like burning like the bushfires. And uh, yeah, and uh, let the revival last forever. God bless you, man. And I uh, hope this really encourages you.